Let's make this slide in PowerPoint. Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slide Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we're going to make this stunning atom infographic that you see right over here. This is ridiculously easy to do and looks a lot better than those old boring bullet points. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and get started. Step one, make the atom infographic. Guys, you have no idea how easy this is to do. First things first, make sure you have a blank slide. Then head over to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this circle, which is circle hollow. You wanna click that, you wanna draw something out that looks like this, right? You wanna position it in the middle, and then you wanna click on this yellow circle over here and just bring it to the left, like so. Yep, that looks fine, let's just bring that up a bit. Now what you want to do is you want to press on Control D to duplicate this shape, and then you want to position the new shape just over the old shape, just like this. Yep, that looks great. You want to hold Shift and then rotate to the right, just like so. And then you want to press on Control D again, except this time what you want to do is you want to go to Arrange, Rotate, and then Flip Horizontal. And then boom! See how easy that was? So easy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to group these guys up together, just like this. And I'm going to color it black and I'm going to remove the outline. Now I'm just going to head to insert, click on shapes and then click on this circle over here and draw out a circle in the middle. Make sure the circle is, you know, slightly large, but not too big. Something like this is absolutely fine. Let's make sure everything's perfectly aligned. We're going to home, arrange, align, align center, and arrange, align, and then align middle. Perfect. Then what you want to do is you want to press on control D. You want to position that new circle over the old circle like this. And you want to make this new circle, you know, slightly smaller. And I'll show you why we're going to do that in a bit. But for right now, the easiest way to do this is hold shift and then press down left, down left. And then, yeah, I think that's fine. Just press down left twice and uh, I think that should be okay. So you might be asking, why did I even do that? Well, I wanted to introduce a shading effect with the coloring of this circle. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna be using this color over here. So I'm gonna use Format Painter and color the, the center of this circle, as you can see right over there. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the circle at the back. So I'm just gonna click on Format Painter, click on there. All right, now what? Well, I'm gonna click on the circle at the back, the bigger circle, I'm gonna go to Format, I'm gonna go to Shape Fill, more fill colors, and you see this little black arrow? I'm just gonna drag it downwards, just like this. Boom. Look how beautiful that looks, you know? It, it, it really gives it that retro, sort of awesome, fashionista, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. It just looks good, it just looks good. What we're going to do now is we're gonna take these two circles that we just made, we're gonna duplicate it, we're gonna press on Control G to group it up, and we're just going to bring that down to size, just like this. And we're going to move it anywhere you want on the Atom infographic. So I'm going to place one over here. I'm going to place one over here. Maybe one over here. All right. So I really, really, actually, let's bring that one over here. There we go. I really like how this looks. It looks fantastic. But it's important for us to sort of change the colors of the smaller circles so that our audience can know the difference between the core of the, of the infographic as well as the points supporting that core right? So I'm going to be using this color that you see right over here for that. And we're going to use the exact same technique that we used in the last one. So what are we going to do? Well, first of all, let's just ungroup everything. And we're going to go to Format Painter and color the middle of the circle in the light blue color. We're going to do the exact same thing for the circle in the back over here. But the circle at the back, the larger circle, we're going to go to Format, Shape Fill, um, more fill colors, drag down that black arrow like so, and do the same thing for the others over here. One, two. There you have it. 
there is your Atom infographic. Step two, add the icons. All right, so we're gonna be using these icons that you see right over here. If you do not know how to bring in icons into your PowerPoint slide and you do not have the insert icons button that you see right over there in your PowerPoint software, then please click on the info button on the top right corner, which will take you to a link in the SlideCow website that will teach you how to import or even make any editable icon you want in your PowerPoint slide. It's worth a look, trust me. But for right now, we're just gonna play around with these. So I'm gonna click on this eye icon. Now remember these icons mean nothing here. You have to pick icons that sort of match your points and I'll show you what I mean in just a bit. So this eye icon that I have is just going to be placed over here and I'm gonna make this white. I'm also going to go to insert. Go to text box and just draw the text box over here. Type in, you know, the core or something. Let's make this 16. Actually, let's make it 14. Hold. Align center. Bring that up. Make it white. That looks great, but I think we can move that down slightly. There we go. Yeah, that looks much better. I like that. So we're gonna bring in the other icons here. So this icon's gonna go here. I'm gonna make this white. And I'm gonna bring this house here. Make this white. And I'm gonna put the scale over here. Perfect. All right, so that looks great. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna press on Control G to group it up and I'm gonna move it all the way to the right, just like this. Perfection. All right, I like that. So everything is on the right, as you can see right over here, which sets us up for the last step in this tutorial. Step three, add the text. Alrighty, so we're gonna go to insert. We're gonna click on text box and we're gonna draw the text box just like this. And I'm just gonna type in no bullet points, just like that. I'm gonna change the font to archive, which is a great font, by the way, you should totally check it out. And I'm gonna set the font size to 48, just like so. Now I'm gonna go to insert, click on text box and draw something out that looks like this. Um, for right here, I'm just gonna put in some gibberish, but obviously you wanna put in whatever points you want. Maybe it's a summary, maybe it's introduction of what you're gonna talk about, whatever. Just make sure it's not gibberish. And uh, I'm going to set the font size to 14. And I'm just gonna bring that down a bit. I will fix that up in just a bit. Okay, now we need to put three points that you guys can see over here. We have the world icon here, the house icon here, and the scale icon over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in this point over here, bring it to the left. Let's make it just a tad smaller, just like this. Yep, that looks fine. We duplicate this little text box we have over here. Maybe cut out a few of the sentences. Like so, back just a bit. All right, we can maybe increase that size just a bit as well. So this would be heading, whatever it might be. We're gonna position it just like so. And we're gonna group, actually before we do that, let's just make sure everything's aligned. So I'm gonna go to align uh, middle, just like that, and press on Control G to group it up. Then we're gonna make two more copies, just like so, right? And once that's done, what we want to do is we want to highlight the last three here, go to Arrange, Align, and then Distribute vertically. Let's bring that up just a bit, like so. Ungroup everything, and delete these two. Um, let's just ungroup these. Delete these two icons over here and bring in these icons. So duplicate that, bring that in here. Maybe increase the size if you want. Duplicate that house and bring it over here. Awesome. 
Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And to seal the deal, to finish off everything, what we might want to do is go to shapes, click on a line, draw out the line like this. And go to shape outline, weight, make it maybe four and a half points is fine. Make it pink. Boom! Look at that. But what you can do is just go here to be vertically. Boom. Alrighty. Looks great. Very easy to do. And looks a lot better than using bullet points. Right? And that was a pretty short tutorial, I think. So guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, then please do share, you know, do comment, do subscribe. Do also visit slackout.com. There's a ton of knowledge there. It's not just YouTube videos. There's blog posts. There are comments. You know, there, there are sometimes there's there's even a product there, the Slackout Toolkit, which you can buy for $49.99, guys. Like you get over five hours of video guide content right over there. Just go check that out. Um, I understand it's December. I understand many of you are going to be on holidays and don't want to think about PowerPoint. That's absolutely fine. No worries at all. Please enjoy your time with your family, your loved ones, and your friends. I will see you next time. This is Yoyo signing off. Bye-bye.